Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here and welcome back to my Bricks by the Bay 2017 haul video. I've done one of these videos for 2015 and 2016, so here is my annual one for 2017. And of course the convention was a blast. Met quite a few people, had a lot of fun, uh, saw some excellent mocks. Of course I brought Wayne Manor myself and of course made some awesome purchases. So. Uh, in this video, we're just going to be taking a look at everything I got. Starting off, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, the theme this year was a California-based theme, so you could make mocks related to something in California. So we got ourselves a goodie bag here, uh, California Dreamin', nice uh, license plate one here. Uh, just a really normal bag, and we got two of those, as well as some stuff in the bag. Uh, we got... A couple of Lego Dimension posters, uh, uh, Lego Dimension sets. Uh, we got Gimli and Bart. Again, I don't have any of these figures, uh, so they're pretty cool. And then we also picked up, of course, the event kit here. This is the Bricks by the Bay event kit. Maybe I'll build it and uh, review it. Uh, I'm not sure. And. Then we also got a couple of free poly bags, one in each bag of the uh, Kylo Ren poly bag. Uh, the Kylo Ren shuttle uh, has some decent pieces inside, so yeah. Um, but anyways, moving along, the final uh, free thing we got were a couple of keychains. The first one being Wild Style. And the second one, which I have misplaced, is... Um, the uh, a Ninjago keychain. Um, but anyways, lastly, here's a look at the brick badge I have. For some reason, I lost my Brick Wizard 59 brick, or at least I'm unable to find it at this moment. But here's the badge. Uh, and then this is a really cool Golden Gate Bridge build using these like hot dog sausage pieces. So that's really smart. <laughs> but there's a look at my badge. And now, let's go ahead and start off with this haul, starting off on the very left. Alright, so let's start off taking a look at some of the stuff in this section and then move on. So, uh, first off, we got this Lego sign here, Brick Bolt. Pretty cool. Um, you know, cost like, what, nine, eight bucks, something like that, nine, eight dollars. But not bad, it, it just looks nice. Um, that's going to be going in somewhere in the Lego room. Once again, brick badge and uh, keychain. Then we got all this bulk brick. This actually is not part of it, but basically a lot of tan bulk brick pretty much. Uh, that was for Wayne Manor for some supports. So that's that. Um, and moving along, we got a couple of series minifigures. Uh, this guy had like sealed cases of all the series minifigures, like from like series one to whatever the newest one is. Um, and they're blind. So he like literally the whole case was sealed. So he opened the case and put it out. So this is, we just got one we got was the hockey player. Um, the second one was just kind of like random. Um, and it was the, um, what is the soccer player? I believe. Um, and again, all these series minifigure packets were like six bucks, except for series one, which was 16. Um, but definitely not too bad in terms of prices. And then we got some red brick over there, as well as, um, excuse me, uh, this uh, pack of minifigures. And the deal with that was uh, three minifigures for eight dollars. So it's each minifigure is four dollars, but if you buy two, you get one free. So basically, three minifigures for eight dollars and there's some excellent deals. I'll just show you this bag, a couple of the other figures I found in there I'll show you in a bit. But here we go, this is a bag of minifigures. I got a Wolfpack Trooper, um, I got Commander Cody, Azog from Hobbit, uh, just a few cool parts that I found interesting. Uh, I found one of the Recon Troopers, a Gamorrean Guard, I got Obi-Wan, Peter Pettigrew, Shaq, so a lot of awesome stuff. All of this is definitely worth more than like $2.66, so 
some great, great steals in that bag. But of course, the best ones are about to come. Um, so that's everything there. And we'll go ahead and move on to the middle section. All right. And moving along here to the center, we have some sets here. Again, I didn't pay full price for anything here. Everything was a deal. Um, with some being definitely better than others. But this is the Evoc Attack set. It was like 11 bucks, which definitely isn't bad. It's complete. Includes all the figures, um, as well as the speeder bike. Awesome deal there. This one probably was the closest to retail, or like retail on like websites that I paid. Um, this is Jabba's Message and Jabba's Prize. 30 bucks, so 15 each, which isn't bad. All figures that there, a couple of pieces are kind of like warped um, because like they melted in the heat. It was kind of weird. Um, but again, figures are there. They're good. They pretty much pay for the set. Moving along, this was another good one. This is the Scout, the, uh, I forget the name. It's like the Speeder. Um, not the Scout. Scout Speeder. It's the one with the Barasafi. Um, this set I got for six bucks. It's only the, no minifigures, um, but still six bucks for this speeder. Um, I mean that's awesome. So another good deal there. Then Corporate Alliance Tank Droid. What was this? Like ten, eleven bucks. Complete all the figures. There was just one vendor that had so many good deals on that. Um, We'll actually go ahead and take a look at the top ones before we take a look at the minifigures. We move along. Uh, Slave 1. I'll just take the instruction booklet up. It looks complete. Um, no figure. The only figure it has is Han Solo. Um, but other than that, it looks pretty much complete. Like the sand green parts. All the rare parts are in there. Um, and this thing was 15 bucks for pretty much a complete Slave 1. Plus a figure, it has a few other random parts in it, but that's awesome. Even if it's like 90% complete, I mean, 15 bucks for a set that costs, what, 60? I mean, that's a great deal. And then this one actually was kind of cool. Um, I rarely to never get old Star Wars sets sealed. But this one, 15 bucks. I mean, that ain't bad. It's completely sealed, A-Wing. 15 bucks, I couldn't pass that up. And that's that. Before we get on to the figures, let's just go ahead and take a look at the rest of it here. Uh, the rest of the stuff we got. Uh, this, we won for free. So we got two door prizes, the ATSD, which you saw, and I'll show you in a sec, as well as this set. Now this actually wasn't a door prize. We actually originally won a Finn buildable figure, but there's a game called Dirty Brickstrand, which we, uh, where it's like a pass the parcel type, like a, uh, game and you basically uh, I ended up getting that out of it. I gave the fin and I ended up getting this um, Which was a Imperial Soul hover tank. So that was awesome So those are basically our two free prizes the ATSD and the hover tank um, And moving along here's the other Kylo Ren bag uh, poly bag and this uh, Space or galaxy squad poly bag. We just had some cool parts it was kind of cheap. So we got it then my brother got these brick arms, weapons, and uh, like vests and helmets and things. Pretty awesome. Uh, some nice weapons there. And we also ended up picking up a Ninjago movie poster here. And this is how it looks. It was free, so all we had to do was uh, we put our name in this thing and we have a chance to win tickets to a uh, early screening of the movie. Um, it's like a raffle, so that was pretty cool. Um, and now let's get on to some of the big things. Um, starting off with these minifigures here. Uh, you must be wondering. So these are also, so most of these are from that three for eight dollars. So basically um, the ones that aren't, this minifigure here was like 10 bucks, Gilroy Lockhart, awesome figure. Queen Goblin, I might have, I don't know. It goes for about 20 bucks online. I paid about 18. Great condition. Always wanted this figure, so I'm glad I got him. And then uh, I traded Grievous with um, another person for 501st Troopers. 
and also um, I bought Draco Malfoy for like two three bucks and this guy I forget his name he's a Lego Batman movie I think Red Hood oh my god he was for like what five six bucks um, and then Doc Ock actually was like 12 bucks which isn't bad but other than all of these figures which we'll move out of the way actually these I got in a trade these are the disco Batman and the other these are like those two Batman figures they are for my bat cave these guys and these I got in that three for eight dollars so it's a minifigure deal so you have tubs of minifigures out you just make your own minifigures and it ended up happening is that uh, I was able to get some, find some, uh, build some awesome minifigures in using those parts. Let's just start off. Uh, we got the waiter. He goes for like 12 bucks. Um, again, really cool figure. So all these basically $2.66 each, which I mean, that's a steal. So that's that. Light up Anakins. I found two light up Anakins in that thing. And they didn't have batteries, but I replaced them. They both work perfectly now. Uh, so $2.66 for each of these, basically. Commissioner Gordon, awesome figure, always wanted him. And here are the big two ones. I was able to find an old Mr. Freeze in that bin, which is a steal. He goes for like $20 plus dollars. People there were selling him for like $30, $40, so it was crazy. So excellent, I was able to find it. Um, and then probably the biggest one of all, Mad Eye Moody. I was able to find him in that bin. He's a 50 plus dollar figure, so I mean, that's a steal for sure. I mean, there might have even been another one in there, I don't know. But a lot of people found great things, like the old Bane. Um, there are definitely a lot of, like, some Avatar figures. So this is really valuable figures that people were able to find in there. Um, and that's everything on the bottom. Now let's get on to the big sets in the back. All right, so now here we got the big sets in the back. As I said, the ATSC, that was also free as part of a raffle that we won that in. And then the Battle of Naboo set, 10 bucks, sealed poly bags and instructions. So that was a steal. And um, I mean, that was an excellent deal. But of course, now the two best deals of the convention. And I'm thinking which one to do first, uh, as these were both excellent deals. Let's go with the Falcon. I got the 2011 Millennium Falcon. And this was $35. Sorry, as I try to adjust my tripod. But $35 for that, complete with the figures. $35. Now, the person I bought that from is the person who I bought pretty much a lot of the stuff. Um, so the person I bought that Falcon from was the same person who I bought that set from. The Slave One, the Tank Droid, Jabba's Message Prize, the Ewok Attack, and the Swamp Speeder. There it is, Swamp Speeder. All of that I bought from the same person. And he's the same person who had that three for eight minifigure deal. Three minifigures for eight bucks deal. So I mean, I bought a ton of stuff from him. So $35 for complete Millennium Falcon, which was awesome. But now probably the coolest deal is that so this was on the last day there was a seller there um who just didn't want this set so um i was able to get it for 30 bucks ucs uh obi-wan's jedi starfighter 30 bucks has most of the pieces missing a couple of things in the back but nothing too rare actually none of it is really rare um and it has this plaque stand everything 30 bucks for that so that was awesome i don't collect ucs sets but i mean 30 dollars for a ucs sets like awesome so that was probably the best deal of the convention and that's actually it for my lego haul so thank you so much for watching definitely check out my lego bricks by the bay videos um i have a video for day one day two and then i combine day three and four so if you want to get a look at the mocks of the convention, just the overall feel of it, how it went down, definitely check that out. So thank you so much for watching this review, or this haul video. Um, definitely stay tuned for more videos coming very soon, including a face reveal. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. This is Brooke was at 59, and I'll see you all next time.